Monday, May 7. My Personal Mission Field When Jesus looked at the crowds of people, he was filled with compassion, according to Matthew 9.36. In reality, Jesus saw each individual that made up the crowd. In the same way, we should be aware of the individuals in the crowds through which we walk and in which we live. Our church can be aware of individuals in the crowd only as church members interact on an individual basis with those who are in their sphere of influence. Those with whom we personally interact on various levels are, in reality, our personal mission field. Now consider John 1, 37-42. Why do you think Andrew told his brother about finding the Messiah before he told anyone else? Here's the text. The two disciples heard him speak, and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned, and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, Teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. They came and saw where he was staying and remained with him that day. Now, it was about the tenth hour. One of the two who heard John speak and followed him was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. He first found his own brother, Simon, and said to him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated the Christ. And he brought him to Jesus. Now when Jesus looked at him, he said, You are Simon, the son of Jonah. You shall be called Cephas, which is translated a stone. Andrew had been a disciple of John the Baptist. His conversation with Jesus excited Andrew so much that he immediately went looking for the person closest to him, the brother with whom he had spent many long nights fishing on Galilee. Now, read John 1, 43-50. What interpersonal relations are revealed here? In what way does Philip respond to Nathaniel's skepticism? What lessons can we take from this story that can help us to understand how personal witnessing works? Here's John 1, 43-50. The following day, Jesus wanted to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him of whom Moses and the law and also the prophets wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. And Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said of him, Behold, an Israelite indeed, in whom is no deceit. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered and said to him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Because I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You will see greater things than these. The early movement to follow Jesus seems to have gained momentum through social networking in the Capernaum and Bethsaida areas. Notice that Philip does not argue when Nathanael has doubts that the Messiah would come from a small, insignificant rural village. He just issues a simple invitation. Come and see, 